I wish it was dark and warm out, but... You can't complain what up, you two. Doing a Ouija board session. I wish you had a little tripod, Joshy. So, like, I for, I don't know really how to use these, Josh. I, it's been such a long time. I guess we're both very light. And very lightly. I thought you're just supposed to have your... Chance. I thought you're supposed to have your fingers just above it, though. Yes, yeah, really above it. I don't know if it's all fingers or, like, four fingers or... But, Joshy, you're touching it, though. Barely touching it. But you're not supposed to touch it at all. You you gotta, like, barely touch it. Otherwise, you don't have connection. So you gotta adjust your finger pressure. Are you gonna... Do I do it as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does it matter where? I, I don't know. I haven't done one of these in forever. I've never owned one. I think you're supposed to ask a question, Josh. Yes, ask a question. And just fucking see what happens. And don't, like, move your finger. Well, ask a question. Do the spirits of Highland Cemetery like us chilling out? A Ouija board into a cemetery. And it's a gorgeous cemetery with a very pretty point. Even the missus said this. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so much. It's so cold. I know. I got a uh, badass wand right there for uh, yes energy. Your wand is beautiful, Josh. This is a uh, crystal scepter that I made from local ingredients. Oh, I said it's cold. Yeah, it's a little chilly outside. I'm like, all of our fingers are turning like red and purple. I'm just trying to like not shake the whole board. Oh, Joshy, you don't. One little shot ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> Pay respects to the dead and just appreciating life. I'm not expecting you to record this. We'll do part two. We can do part one and part two. Yeah. And upload what I can, yes. Like, I really. I've never been allowed to own one of these, so I don't know how they work, and I literally haven't used them since I was like at dinner time. And of course, you know, all of my friends would have their hands like on it and they'd like. Ugh. And they're like. And they're like, oh, they literally said Elvis was in the TV screen. Like, the TV wasn't on, but I was like, Elvis is not in the TV screen. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a little bit of that. Oh, I ain't, I ain't grabbing the cobra. <laughs> not yet. Hey, you want to have a shot? Joshy, yeah. are you all right? I'm bloody fantastic. Can you have another whip of that? Go for it. Oh, I'm really fantastic. I fucking was an Ouija board in you know, a haunted cemetery. I wish we could do this at night. Seriously. It'd be a lot more intense, yes. <laughs> it would. Because <laughs> that's when the creeps come out. Fuck sickos. Well, not those kind, baby. <laughs> I'm talking about the ghost. No, I have seen a ghost, a Civil War ghost, out in the 
Pungo, where I live, in his uniform. He was not on the ground. He was literally like, you know, how the little white cloth ghosts float in there. That's how he was. He was like in the air. He was in a walking position in his Civil War uniform. And everyone's like, oh, you're just high. Like, first of all, you don't see stuff when you smoke weed. Um, you know, and I saw what I saw. And plus, there are plenty of Civil War, like, you know, graves out there. Definitely. So how would I not be able to see that? Fuck me. That shit burns like a bitch. Like the seventh layer of hell. What did you say, 62%? Yes. That shit will fuck you like your mother cheating on, on a. You like that absinthe, missus? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing the little fairies dancing around. <laughs> We're sitting around some pretty old graves, Joshy. Like that one is over a hundred years old. Yes, it's amazing how history has preserved itself. Yeah. It's beautiful here. I can't. I will say, it's kind of sad when some of the graves like don't get cleaned up as much as the others. Oh no, there's this one little grave spot. Um, yeah, that is kind of sad. Some of the graves dead. were from the 1700s, and yeah, 1700s, and it just makes you want to know, like, what was the area like back in the day? Like, who were these people? Like, what did they do? And it was really sad because they had a thing, like a, a troop, like, sign that said, oh, whatever troop took care, but it's like, when was the last time they took care of it? It was so sad, like, all the graves were like, and when, uh, this was a long time ago when I went there, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like on a back road where I literally was parking basically like almost in the ditch, and these people were like, oh, you can come park on our property, but I was so shy and like whatever back then, but it's like I wish I would have been who I am now because I would have definitely parked there. I'd be like, okay, do you know these graves? If you do, like tell me about them because I... But yeah, it's just really sad to see him sunken in and forgotten about and, you know, it's I love to sad. see just little graveyards in a random, like, off spot. But it was just a little, but yeah, they were, some of them were from the 1700s. Oh, I don't doubt it, you know, I mean, yeah. when did the, when did the... When did the pilgrims show up? Like I don't, 14, like, 1400s? But you see, like, I, and I've been telling Josh this, cause, like, I know Casper's an old town, but, like, you just think as soon as you hit, like, the coast, there would be a lot of stuff. Like, Virginia Beach, I would expect to see a lot of stuff, but I guess people wanted to go out west for the gold and oh, oil yeah. and all that shit. So you're going to have a lot of older stuff here. I mean, not that we don't have old stuff in Virginia it's Beach, just, but... It's different. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Maybe if I would have come off the fucking boat, I would want to stay like, you know, that was a long trip. Like, wherever I hit land is where I'm going to stay. But, you know, people kept on and I don't know. But I like that it's old here. I, I love it. And, you know, but yeah, we have old graves there too. But, yeah, it's just like I... I wish they were respected a little bit more and kept up. Well, that's nothing against anyone. That's just how it is. Oh, Huge ass cemetery and people are for forgetful. Yeah, they forget over time and then, you know, it gets overgrown. And I love you, Josh. I said I'd take my gal out to a haunted cemetery and I'm wearing bullshit. I just wish we could go here at nighttime and like run around like it sounds like a summertime activity with flashlights. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'll be here in the summertime, but um, definitely. See that little bird. There's like this little bird. It's so small and it darts. Josh couldn't see it earlier, but that's not the one making the noise. And, oh, my God, there's so many animal poops around here that I want to know what they are. 
Like, and people on my video are probably gonna be like, why do you care about animal poop? <laughs> I just want to know what the little wild animals, well, not little, they're probably fucking beasts. Like, could you imagine if, like, a mountain lion crawled up right behind us right now? <laughs> Not good because Casper does have mountain lions. <laughs> That's my pterodactyl. You wearing Adidas socks? I think they're Carhartt. Actually. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I just saw like stripes. <laughs> I was all out of my dress socks, so. I'm a classic man. You can be me when you look this <laughs> People are gonna fucking hate me for that. I haven't listened to that song on my YouTube in a while, too. It's about time for the remix. <laughs> Uh, I never wanted to listen to the rem remix and then one day I accidentally clicked on it and I was like, oh shit, like you gotta stop being so closed-minded sometimes. Be more open-minded because the remix is way fucking better. <laughs> I cast Mary here now. Mary the Banshee if you don't show me. And I got Mary something the Banshee is very present in Island Cemetery. She's with you right now. Uh, she really wants to experience the haunted glory. I do. I like. I think I do, but then when I see a ghost, I get scared. So yeah, <laughs> I would though. I'd fucking never forget about it. <laughs> Josh, yeah, I had an orb in my room one time. It was a huge orange orb, and the same way it went in my window, it went the same way out. But it was a huge orange ball. But it sh you could literally see it stretch itself out. And when it turned around, you could see it literally, the middle part of it, like, uh, I was literally hiding under my blankets waiting for that. But I did see it get out back at my window. I'm like, you're such a pussy over an orb. There's one time I was outside. I don't know where I was going. Maybe for a late night walk or whatever. There's these two orange little orbs dancing over, not on my street, but the street before mine, dancing over uh, the person's house. And when they noticed me, they quit, they darted over to the houses across the street, on the same street, and then went into the pine trees and disappeared. Like, and my mom gets so jealous that I see all this stuff. It's like, mom, you have to go out and then it, you're not gonna see it in your bedroom. Well, you might. I saw that huge orb in my room. I didn't have to go. And then also the same night, I also saw like a cartoon looking pirate, like maybe off of um, Peter. I've never seen two movies. I have not seen Peter Pan and Snow White. But uh, I forgot what the point of that was. But um, yeah. Oh, look, the wind stopped and there's that bird. I've literally heard... Did you hear that? Joshy, did you hear that? It sounded like someone screamed. No, I didn't hear that. You heard it? Mm -hmm. It sounded like a woman. I guess I'm, no, I'm so used to the sound of whatever bird that is. No, so. no. I heard like a person scream. Not, You're not, in a haunted cemetery after all. I know, but um, look at the sun, Joshy. Yes, the sun is pretty. Oh, is that an owl or a dove? Probably a fucking dove. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, I learned recently, oh, if you're hearing something and you think it's an owl, no, it's probably, I'm like, oh, you are kidding me. Huh? You're kidding me. But no, literally the only time I really saw an owl was when I lived in Gainesville, Florida, and I used to hang out at this one bar, and it was a white owl, pure white, like, I guess, Harry Potter, even though I've not seen Harry Potter, but I know they got a white owl. And it would, hey, it, it would yes. just come out and show off its beauty. It would fly around and go back into its little tree. And it was so fucking beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful here, Joshy. I want to be buried here with you. No, that's really sweet. Hand in hand. <laughs> mm. I do. I'm serious. That's really sweet, Jessica. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. I love you, Joshy. You don't even know how much I love you. 
You said you love hanging out at cemeteries. I might have to take you to the beautifulest one of them I know. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have more than one here? Or is this no, the... this is the only one. Uh, it seems pretty big enough. <laughs> yeah, Alma Cemetery is fucking huge. They still have a whole bunch of open land over here, yeah. too. Like, you ready to die yet? <laughs> Yeah, that's just a part of life. It's just, it's I know, but it's scary. It's... And I know you're not scared of it, but I am. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Death is just part of life. Hey, hey, right this is just humans getting comfortable with it. Hanging out in cemeteries. And it right like... all my notifications, you little mother fuhrer. Instead, I like to say that that's a little, uh, <laughs> that's a little bad joke, but, uh, Instead of saying motherfucker, mother fuhrer, because that's fucking hilarious, in oh, my yeah. opinion. <laughs> and I'm not going to say no more about I'm gonna be, that. I'm going to be quiet about that. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing else about that. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're here. But we, we love you, Aaron. We love you. Thank you. Fuck racism. We love you. Fuck the trolls. Fuck these people Fuck that them. don't know shit about you. Fuck the people that don't know shit about you or Josh or me on our real human level. Amen. That's what I say. I can I can get down with that. Yes. Get down with the sickness. Fuck them. Fuck people. People are sickness. They are. If I would never be a human. I would probably... I, I You know, I used to say I want to be a cat. I think, honestly, probably more a bird. And I'm... Because birds can go fucking anywhere they want. And they could also eat a cat if they want. So you gotta be like a raptor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. And, you know, I don't like the bad reputation that vultures get because people act like, oh, they're, no, they, they're the cleanup crew, the sanitation crew. Um, they don't go around killing, like, people are so dumb. Society puts, like, I don't know how people are so, like, I like black cats, bats, possums, fucking vultures. Like, they just, you know, people are dumb. They're literally a cleanup crew. And I fucking love vultures so much. And yeah, nature needs cleanup crews. Yeah, because who else is going to do it? The fucking shitty humans? <laughs> and seriously, you hear the wingspan of a vulture take off? Oh, my God. You hear the whooshing. I love it. And it's so beautiful. Ooh, I can teal. Teal? <laughs> I can taste. Wow, well, teal. I can taste the little absinthe no. mixed in with my blood orange. It's an interesting combo. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, orange and licorice. Actually, you want to know what a good drink combo was? That cherry rum Josh had plus the lavender Italian cream soda. I don't know what to call that, but you had a shot of it, Joshy. That it was, was tasty. That was good. I don't even know what to call that. That that was fucking delicious. And I never had cherry rum. I didn't know how many different flavors of alcohol you could make. <laughs> mm. God damn. Hi, Josh. No. You're so cute. I'm going to have a little bit more of this. Is that okay? Yeah, no, go for it. Don't film it, Joshy. Don't film me taking from your crotch. It, you know what? It's all good because, quite frankly, we're not getting wasted in the cemetery. We're not causing a public nuisance. We're just playing with Norwegian boy and drinking some absinthe in a cemetery. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Exactly what I'm saying. Well, I commend you for that. Thank you. 
when you're somebody who likes it. Yo! You, know, you don't gotta be like that. Ian's an alcoholic, too, so... Yeah, you know, but you both of you deserve... I'm not saying sobriety, Josh. I'm not saying you don't have to drink, but obviously, you know, your friend here struggles a little bit. And what I say is you both deserve to be healthy and happy. No, you I both, appreciate that. You both deserve sobriety, even if you're not ready for that, Josh. You both deserve it because I care about both of you. You as my man and him as a good friend to me and you. He has been very gracious to me. Yeah. You know, you always got... You've always got resources here. I just wish my glasses weren't fucking dirty. It's like you're recording me and it's like, oh, I probably look ugly as fuck. My glasses are dirty. I chihuahua. <laughs> fuck. Hi, Josh. <laughs> Do I need to scoot back a little bit? No, you can not scoot back. I got you on record right now. What you doing? What am I doing? I don't know. What are you Enjoying doing? Enjoying this little gothic picnic. I wish we had a little picnic. Yes. We'll do that next time when it's fucking warm. Like, what is the highest temperature that's ever... Oh, I'm going to ask... Oh, I'm going to ask my phone that. 